federal courthouse come seven leading Reds, including Daily Worker editor John Gates with his wife, former city councilman Benjamin Davis Jr., and Eugene Dennis, National Communist Party secretary with Mrs. Dennis. Convicted of teaching and advocating the forcible overthrow of the government, with their conviction upheld by the United States Supreme Court, the seven now leave the courthouse after being remanded to prison. With one exception, they must serve five years and pay $10,000 in fines. The FBI immediately begins a search for four other members of the Red High Command who failed to surrender. Three years after they were indicted, prison gates close on the nation's top Reds.